so here I am in the shed again and uh, I've got these records and I've got this PVA other varieties of PVA are available so the idea is you get these old records and you put PVA on it and you leave the PVA to, to dry and then uh, once it's dried you can peel the PVA off and it pulls all the muck out of all, all the grooves so what I've been finding with this batch is it's, because it's quite cold in here the PVA has sort of been can you see that little bits of PVA you think this is all the first batch I've done. It's probably not a recommended process, but it does seem to do the trick. It does seem to uh, make the sounds clearer working with PVA. It's a lovely sub sub substance, this PVA. It's like one of those things you can use for all sorts of purposes. I, mean, I use this for making all kinds of things. He's gone now, that chap who was uh, hanging, hanging off the wall there, he's, he's in a box down here now. So uh, here's one I made earlier, except you see these have all, uh, these are sort of dried and I'm thinking, well, if I peel that off, it's all very well. But what happened yesterday when I was doing this? I was just getting all these little fragments on it and I was thinking well that's going to be you now I need to clean that again but then I'm looking uh, then what I did was I've got this <laughs> I get this herbal tea I've got loads of you know you get several boxes so I've got this herbal tea called yogi tea <laughs> and it says it tells me what to do every day, you see. I have my cup of yogi tea in the morning and it tells me what to do in the day. So today, you know, I've got a stick, a string and, uh, you know, my message for the day is act, don't react. OK, so I'm not going to react. I'm just going to act. But the trouble was, just I was, as I was coming in and going out, they tend to be a bit clumsy first thing in the morning so I'll just knock the tea over onto this one that I made earlier so that's all going to be dried out see the label's gone that colour this tea doesn't stain very much so presumably it's going to dry out and it should be right as rain when it's done just noticed uh, how irregular this label is look at that it's the Twinkle Brothers now there's a big coincidence there because I was just talking to my dad about when he was on top of the pops. Well, talking to him by email. I said, uh, my dad was, my dad um, used to be, a, uh, run this youth club in Tidewell, you see, and he took uh, the youth club to uh, the TV studios in Manchester. So this recording of Top of the Pops. And uh, he told me that just a few weeks ago, uh, oh, could have been a few weeks ago <laughs> about a year ago that somebody stopped him in the market in Chapel and Frith and said hey it's done airs isn't it I says that you're on top of the pops <laughs> it's like you know it's not he it wasn't a star on top of the pops you know he was just uh it's just in the audience dancing sort of thing I don't know what he does, but, you know <laughs> so yeah so uh, I was uh, asking him who was on top of the pops when you were there, he says, uh, <laughs> he says it was, uh, was it? Jimmy Savile and uh, Sandy Shaw and Twinkle singing Terry. So there we go. The Twinkle Brothers. Big. Look at that. There's a little bit of, uh, eh? And the record just to be, happens to be in this, this lovely yellow like that. And it's a jackpot, so that, that means that uh, I'm on the jackpot here. 
But what's on the B side of the Twinkle Brothers? Stick together. Dennis Al Capone and John Holt stick together. Because I spilt my tea on it, I'm going to have to do this one again, aren't I, or something, to get rid of uh, the mess I've just created. Stick together. Terry by Twinkle was... Uh, I'll probably put it on this uh, compilation that I'm doing, this uh, radio show that I'm doing, because uh, there's a genre of music which is all about uh, people dying in, in motorbike accidents. And uh, the one that sticks in the mind is, uh, is Terry by Twinkle, about uh, a boyfriend died and the, please wait at the gates of heaven for me, Terry. Brilliant song. So that's going to go on the... Uh, yeah, that's going to go on to that radio programme that I'm doing. <laughs> 